we now want um, to create something a bit more complicated. Um, um, like a highway. Okay, let's just say we want this to run to a um, motorway in the distance, a highway sort of thing. Obviously, because we are um, perfectionists, we would be getting rid of this um, this horrible stuff in the middle because we just do that, you know, while we work. Even though I'll probably end up repeating that process by deforming the landscape and having to do it twenty times over, just the way I am. But now we wanna we wanna create a highway. First things first. First things first. I always put these pieces into a snappy ro roads folder so we have all of our intersections and road BPs together. Um, because I like to be organised. Totally fine. I think that's the best way to be. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create the highway as a separate, um, a separate thing. I'm not going to attach it and like kind of build the intersection onto it. I'm going to draw the highway and kind of then join them together uh, and show you that. So I'm in the wrong area. I need to be in the BPs for start, and we essentially just drag out a new snappy road. Um, BP and like we already learned we have to change the spline and I'm going to move a bit faster now so we then got to choose our piece which is you know slightly different layout um, these four make up the bulk of your highway the freeway deck is just the standard um, freeway part basically that you'll be using and it works exactly the same as the others now i'm going to make this a kind of fancy um freeway that's kind of slightly above um that's above the uh, ground sorry supported by support so we can start introducing the mesh extras and I think that'll be fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have a kind of curve in the tangent and have this kind of long. Some of it doesn't have to be supported. We'll have some of it kind of um, in the ground. And we'll just start drawing out our freeway. Pretty much the same process as before. In fact, exactly the same process as before. And I'm just going to just draw out something that I like the look of. And we're just going to do something like this go that one round and I'm just gonna have that do that okay and I want this to kind of go off into the hills a bit like this Maybe I want it to start curving up a little bit and keep curving away from the center of the scene on the next one. Oh dear. Apologies. One thing I do want to say is it is good to save so often because you can get this weird bug that suddenly allows you to grab it and it will just crash the whole thing which we might see at some point as I forget to save um, so I just tend to 
save as often as possible because you do get those issues sometimes. All right, let us curve a little bit. I just wanted to go out of view. And I think that will be fine. And you can see we've got that horrible resolution, um, which I'm then going to increase to 100. See what we get from that. That's not too bad. Let's go like 130 for now. Okay, so we got our freeway that kind of comes off the ground. And I'd say that's pretty good. Um, it's not quite what we want, but what we can do is... Um, The spawn a connected intersection is what I should have done ages ago, to be honest with you. Um, one thing I should say is I've made a mistake. As you can see, I've already gone too far. Um, there is a way that you can add a intersection into this... Uh, specific point but i'm trying to remember i actually can't remember how you do that um there's a way of breaking okay so detach is that maybe what it is no okay let's see if this works no okay i've made a mistake and i've gone too far so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete Oh, I'm going to delete some of these and bring it back to this, this node here. Okay, so we've got that bit and that's fine. I've made the mistake of not creating an intersection here. But now we are. So we're going to create our intersection for this road and see how we go. Now we have these um, there's kind of a few ways of doing it. And it's all up to you, really. Um, and how you want your road to kind of lay out, how your road layout is uh, designed. Um, what I'm going to do is to spawn connected intersections, same as before. We know we got one at the other end that we got to delete. I'm just doing that because it's easier. So I'm going to create a highway junction or a freeway junction, sorry, and grab this bad boy here. And we get this nice little thing. So at a real junction, you wouldn't just have like, you know, let's just say this is northbound, southbound, three lane. Um, at this kind of junction, you'd have a way to go south and northbound from this road you know if you say you come off the uh off this main road onto this slip road and you wanted to go southbound or northbound you'd have that option so you wouldn't just have one of these would you you'd have like uh you need a way to get onto both sides so that's where the confusion kind of comes in and it's a bit like oh how do I do this this is a bit uh, it's a little bit too confusing um so firstly obviously you need two of these and the way to do that is to spawn some connected roads so you get this this is your continuation of the highway in the center so we need to apply the highway again and continue it and then we can spawn another connected interse intersection. This is an example where you don't have to go and delete the one at the other end. Because remember when I did it uh, before, that means we've got a intersection spawned on the end here. Which is now going to be 
under the terrain. There it is. I'm going to delete that. Bring this back above ground. Even though we won't be able to see it. So yeah, we have um, our spawned intersection, which we want to be another junction. And we are going to replace the junction. But it's going the wrong way. We want it to be a uh, the opposite. Or at least I think that would make sense. We want it to be the opposite. So I'm going to disconnect it. I'm going to rotate it by 180 degrees. I'm going to get it fairly close. But maybe I don't want it that close. Maybe we want the uh, it to be like a fairly decent um, slip road. Maybe, you know, in reality, let's just say it's going to be here. And we want that one to be like there. These are the joined roads, which are behaving quite strangely. So I'm going to just quickly delete these, actually. Because they're getting getting in the way and this is our distance between the, uh, the junctions we're then going to snap this bad boy to this intersection which allows us then to control it properly um i'm going to put this up here like that maybe we would change the tangent of these a little bit so a bit of a curve I'll just do something like that I don't know a bit more natural anyway so we have our our junctions now on this one I am going to uh, spawn our connected roads and again we need the continuation of the road Plop that there, and then grab this node to extend it. This will continue our freeway. And we can just do it as I did before, before I made that mistake. Probably get it so it's level roughly with the terrain. And Keep on drawing until you're satisfied with the with the road. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it at that for now. And you can see our resolution has uh, gone bad. So it's a case of just roughly matching it up again. Um, let's say 70. Oh, it's not enough. 100. Hmm. It's going to be like 110. All right. So we've got our freeway kind of mapped across the road. Delicious. Delicious. Um, now, before we carry on with our intersection, maybe we want this to sit to the land nicely. So we grab that road, set our landscape, you know, again, we're going to do this stuff uh, for it for a freeway. I'm going to make it quite, um, uh, quite a harsh fall off and deform our landscape to it. Almost as if it's been, um, built into the road that way and I'm also going to do the same with this one now this is just a design choice maybe you want supports all the way across and make it look kind of like utopian or whatever but it's a bit of a brutalist looking thing so I'm just going to do like what I've been doing before I'm going to deform the landscape to it um, and that's probably actually still not very realistic. Maybe you'd have a bigger bank. 
you know, so this is a bit more of a serious project. And we're here for a 10,000 fall off. So it's almost like it's been built on a hill. This one's not so bad. Um, okay, so we've got that. Then we've got our little bridge. Okay. Starting to look a bit nicer. We're going to save that. Um, before I do all of the edits to show you, you know, the rest. Um, that's not actually terrain, so that's why you're getting that kind of weird look. Um, but overall, still looking pretty good. Um, now, in this centerpiece, it's totally independent of the rest. Um, this is where I would actually start to introduce a new section of the tutorial, which is mesh extras and connecting kind of various parts to the um, to the to the uh, spline.